Guys, welcome back to my channel. Please remember, as always, if you are new to this channel, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about primers. I want to kick it off with center fire ammunition. Center fire ammunition is named like that because the primer and the primer pocket are located in the center of the case head. The types of primers we use are called boxer primers. I'm going to give you a little bit of info on the boxer primer. The Boxer Primer is the most popular primer style in the U.S. Due to its ease of reloading, it is the primary choice for the military and also for the civilians. This type of ammunition was created by Edward Boxer and it was presented first in Europe in 1866 and then introduced in the U.S. in 1869. The internal anvil is what ignites a small amount of explosive in the primer cup to begin the powder ignition. Flame from the primer goes through the flash hole to set the powder alight. Let's go ahead and talk about burden primers. These are different from center fire. These cases have an anvil built into the case head and feature two flash holes instead of one. This ammo is used in Europe up to some extent and you can actually find some of this ammo in a military surplus store here in America if they happen to sell the ammo. Just checking up on my little guy. Hey guys, just to give you a heads up, so this ammo, if you find it here in America, you're going to probably have two problems with it. One, the ammo is going to probably be corrosive. Two, um, you might have issues reloading it. So if you actually try to reload this burden primer, a regular reloading die, like uh, your decapping one and your resizing die, is not going to work because it has two different um, spit holes or flash holes in the case unlike the boxer primer so it's just an ammo it's just a type of primer that if you can stay away from it i highly recommend you stay away from it so anyways boxer primers are manufactured in two different sizes and they come in eight different magnitudes small pistol small pistol magnum large pistol large pistol magnum and then the same thing for rifles you have small rifle small rifle magnum large rifle large rifle magnum. Hey guys, keep in mind that magnum primers do produce more intense heat and burning large volumes of gunpowder. When you start reloading, it can get very dangerous, okay? So don't mix and match your primers. If what you're gonna do requires you to use a large primer, don't put a magnum primer. You have to put a large primer. If it requires you to put, let's say, large rifle, don't do large magnum rifle you do large rifle if it's small pistol don't do small pistol magnum okay this is very 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 dangerous you can get yourself seriously injured you can also damage your firearm hey guys and lastly the last primers i wanted to talk about were match primers so the only difference between match primers and uh, factory primers is that match primers do show consistency when shot with load to load and there's actually a pressure test that's used in the research to prove that it actually works with that being said this is going to be it for this video guys please take the time to like comment share and subscribe also let me know what you guys think and if uh, there's anything in particular you want me to do a video on just reach out to me and let me know guys also remember that i am in the south florida area so if you are looking at if you are looking at getting trained Feel free to reach out to me, whether it's through social media or emails. Anyways, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and keep yourself safe out there.